So I'm getting about fed up with this big dungus uh, 3D printer. No, not chungus. I don't, don't, don't insult chungus. And um, obviously, I had to assemble it. I haven't trimmed some things. I've ripped some things apart. But um, here's this proximity sensor, which I thought was the problem, either positionally or parts failure. And with some <laughs> dyslexia, I did ima eventually manage to basically perfectly readjust its position. So it's it's actually magnetic. If you have a ferrous knife, which I do, it lights up. You get like a piece of acrylic. Nothing. So, but uh, anyway, no. So that's an auto leveling sensor. It's supposed to just. This printer really is supposed to just work. So I'm gonna keep my finger on the thing because it's gonna it's gonna do it again. Finds its X, finds its Y, and then nope, yep, no, see that all cockeyed, all catty wampus. It's not like the sensor is working, but. It is just ignoring it. I can just eat shit apparently. And uh, no, it's not because it's like just barely not too close. See, watch if I jog. Like that's like that's a little that's a little too close, I guess. But uh, oh, it's latching. Interesting. But. Nah, it it should work. And I've done all sorts of things trying to get this to work. Like uh oh, it's all the the head. It's all this craziness going over here and a lot of it routes through this um, crazy breakout box and then this uh, oh no I broke a foot off of it oh well I don't like this thing's doing anything right now and uh, that goes down here and everything but the hot end that wire is the that white wire pair is the hot end goes through this ribbon cable I even ju I just now tried replacing the ribbon cable. That that that's not in. That's infuriating. And the reason I have a replacement ribbon cable is I have a replacement one of those breakout boards. See, that's where the hot end goes. <laughs> How did I do that? Um, I accidentally scorched these. I was testing these, and they have the power and ground next to each other, and I accidentally. Jumpered it with my um, meters leads and uh, whoops. So it, it was fine, honestly. I shouldn't have done anything. And I tried uh, adding some wire preemptively, and I ended up with solder underneath going down uh, between betwixt here and getting some shorts. So then I tried to desolder the entire thing with. Um, a really worn out soldering tip. Don't don't try and do that. So I got that that was only twenty bucks. Um and like a month because you had to get it from China. Uh, the when I tried replacing the um proximity sensor, that was like I don't know. It was also like twenty bucks. That was in Canada. So I got here a lot quicker. And so, what? Is, like, my firmware in this bad somehow? Or am I gonna get the correct firmware? <sighs> I guess for $450 dual extrusion and, uh, Core XY and, uh, uh, 33 by 33 by 40 or, uh, 13 inches by 13 inches by, I don't know, and uh, I mean, almost exactly 13 inches. My the plates of glass I bought are exactly 13 inches. You know, I guess I can 
justify buying a new board. Because, you know, I, I'm not going to trust Tronxy, T-R-O, and XY, Tronix. I think it's Tronixy Y, because they do a lot of Core XY stuff. Um, I guess their power supply is fine. I guess I'm not that afraid of that. But, uh, yeah. I really think I'm going to trust them to get me the correct, correct firmware. Maybe this has the firmware in it from, like, uh, what do you call it? One without the dual extrusion or something. I, I, I don't, I don't know. I do not know. Did they get corrupted just coming here over the... I, I thought I did actually flash the firmware, and apparently not. It does the same thing. So something screwed up that I just completely don't comprehend. And my next step would be probably to actually just buy a new one of these boards. But I, I'm not going to... Why buy a Tronxy board at that point? They're like, I don't know, 40, 80 bucks. I may as well spend 80, 120 and get something real in here. Something I care about. <sighs> Time to figure out what I would do for that. Mm. This is how it had to feel like 10 years ago. <laughs> oh, well. We'll get her, we'll get her choochin'.